Well, hello everyone. We are here with part two and maybe <laughs> part three of our hot pepper uh, seed video. Now, what we got on the table here is the next round of peppers. Now, not all of these are going to make this year's cut. Uh, there's several in this that we grew last year that either we wasn't terribly impressed with or they're very similar to another variety that we grow and so we decided that this year we won't grow that variety um, and some of them we may make a decision right here in front of you uh, as we go through um, there, there's going to be a few that is not going to make the cut uh, a very good example is last year we grew probably about 25 varieties of ahi peppers mm -hmm. and half of those won't get grown this year they were good peppers it's just they were too similar to another variety or they just wasn't special enough to grow every year uh, we have a pepper addiction so we've got somewhere right around 250 varieties 225 varieties I'd say we're pushing like 350 now so okay so we're, we're over 300 at this point and so we don't grow every one of those every year but we will grow a good 150 varieties of, of uh, hot peppers this year maybe even 200 uh, but some of these don't make it now there's a few of these that we loved we adored uh, customers adored them uh, we sold plants we sold peppers uh, we sold seeds so some of them make it so what we're going to do is we're going to have two boxes Tiffany will get the not this year and I will get this year <laughs> Now, there'll definitely be more in this year than not this year. Yeah. So, let's start with, this is one we didn't grow last year because we just forgot to seed them. This is an accidental cross that came in seeds that we got from a supplier. Yeah. It was supposed to be a sweet pepper, and it turned out to be a mild, amazingly flavorful, mild hot pepper. We named it Morgana's Flame. Um, our youngest daughter's name is Morgan, and uh, so we named it after her since she was the one that first found the pepper in our garden two years ago. And so we're going to grow, we got these that we're going to grow out this year. Probably we'll grow out quite a few of these. We'll probably grow 20, 25 of these out this year just to see what we can get. So Morgana's Flame is a, Isn't yes. It? And um, hopefully these turn out the same way they did, but they are actually a long, um, kind of more like a um, corno de toro pepper but they were purple and a little bit thinner than right. a corno de toro so very reminds nice. you of a thin walled uh, a thin walled bell pepper a very yeah. thin walled bell pepper but not so thin that you'd think hot pepper yep um so so that's a go um killian killian was was great we, we really pepper. enjoyed this produced tons of peppers um if you're familiar with killian it's a, it's a small round pepper um, Killian is cayenne? Yeah, it's like a cayenne pepper. Killian is cayenne. I, I was trying to get mixed up her. So that's a keep, right? Yeah. Uh, we're expanding our cayennes this year. We're, we're trying to get up to about a dozen varieties. Um, this one I won't grow this year just because I don't know what it is. We traded for these seeds. It's lab labeled lemon pepper. And we're going to be growing lemon drops for sure. And I'm just, I don't have the room this year for a, I'm not sure. At least not that one. Yeah. Uh, Trinidad Maruga Scorpions. Um, these are our seeds. These was actually a non-isolated seed. They were semi-isolated, we'll put it that way. So Trinidad Marugas are yeah. a must every year. At least up to this point. All right, Peter Pepper. Did we make a decision off we're growing Peter Peppers, Tiffany? I think we decided we were going to grow them, if anything, to save seeds. Yep. And, and, we, and we've got a lot of customers requesting the plants, so um, we're going to grow Peter Pepper. Um, it's not a conversation I want to have with my customers at the market. But anyway, so we're going to grow that so we can get a good, fresh batch of seeds. Okay, I do not remember on the chili pake, pake one what we thought about them. Uh, I don't think we've actually had those ourselves. I think we grew them. I don't think we actually tried them. Sold all the plants? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so... What, Might as well give it a shot. We'll case. probably grow two, maybe four. Yeah, so we do 
two, four, six, six on a hot pepper is probably getting up there to the max. There might be a variety we grow eight or ten of, but they won't be many of them that break six because most of these, once they start producing, they produce. So that's a that's a for this year. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I'm not downing Pepper Joe's. I'm just going to state the obvious because uh, I'll never try to down anybody. Um, we have about a 70% success rate with Pepper Joe's peppers at this point. Um, you know, with what we're selling this year, I tell everybody they're not isolated, so you could get crosses. Um, with Pepper Joe's, we're about 70% are pure and 30% are either mislabeled or not pure. So that being said, we're and to correct that or to say some more onto that, Pepper's Joe's did come out and say they did have a problem with their suppliers last year. One particular supplier. Right. And so that could have been all their issue and it could be fixed this yeah, year. Yeah, who knows. Now next year we're moving, and that's the point of what we're doing here. Next year we're moving to a 100% isolated model for all of our seeds that we want to isolate. So there'll be varieties that we're looking for random crosses in. And so we'll just pick that pepper and we'll see how it done just for a random cross. Because sometimes nature can think of a cooler cross than I can think of. So with what we're growing, that'd be all right. So anyway, this is an orange long-tailed scorpion. I do not believe any of these germinated for us, did they? Nope. Now that being said, I don't blame germination on Pepper Joe's. Sometimes it's our fault. We get in the water a tray, we let it get too dry and the in the chamber but anyway I think we'll grow that this year you agree yep. I got six seats so if I can get four to germinate six germinate that's awesome if I can get four to germinate I'll probably sell two plants keep two if only two germinate we'll keep them both uh, Genghis con brain did we eat any of them this year did we grow it did they make it I know we, we had, had some Genghis but... con something so it, we probably did have Genghis Khan. Brain, I just can't remember if we ate any of them. I don't think we did. We sold a lot of them. So I think we're going to grow that again because I need seeds. Yep. I have three. So it gets grown again. Chocolate bootle is a must. Absolutely. Uh, we discussed the chocolate ghost on the last video. So. Yep. So, so we'll grow that. Uh, Peach Carolina Reaper. Hopefully it is a Peach Carolina Reaper. It is Pepper Joe's. Um, we're going to grow that. But I've also got Peach Reaper seeds coming from another source. Yep. So hopefully between the two, I wind up with really nice Reapers to save seeds from to sell next year. So we're going to grow that. Uh, Bishop's Crown. I loved Bishop's Crown. Um, they are not very hot at all. Um, but they give just that little bit of heat, much, much less than what a jalapeno is uh, for the most part. Sometimes they can get they more can than They can get up or close to cayenne level. Yeah, but the ones that I had were not very hot, uh, but they tasted really good, had a really good tropical flavor to them. Um, but I love them. I only got one seed, though. But we do have Mad Hatters coming from Johnny's, which are supposed to be a Bishop's Crown type of pepper, so we'll see how they are compared with each other. But we're definitely going to plant that one to at least get seeds off of it. If it makes it. If it that's makes That's a big it. risk. One that's seed. Oh, so much can go wrong with one seed. <laughs> this one was from Pepper Joe's last year. They label it Chili Relino. I wasn't impressed. I didn't like the pepper. It was average at best. Um, I'd rather have an Anaheim or a Poblano. And it's... don't know what it's supposed to be because it's really neither one. Yeah, because Chili Relino is... It's technically a dish, not necessarily right. a pepper, so you can use a lot of different peppers in chili relenio. So. so, we're not going to grow that this year. Now, next year, this may get grown, just not this year. Okay, ahi amarillo. That's a definite. Uh, that was an amazing pepper. We did save some seeds out of our greenhouse, so thankfully we have more than just the one single one. We had a few of these in the greenhouse that was in there with a few other pepper plants. So we're going to grow some out of those. They were not isolated, but obviously they were semi-isolated because there was just a handful of pepper plants in there. And these were sitting in a different, these were in a different spot in the greenhouse than the other ones. So some space and a lot less pollinators inside the greenhouse. So there's a chance we'll come out okay and then we'll save seeds if we do. But So we're going to grow the Ahi Amarillo. Uh, Christian. 
That is a yellow tie, right? I think so, yeah. Um, I've got one seed. Uh, that is not enough. <laughs> so I'm not putting this in my bucket because I'm going to leave it out. We need to find seeds for Christia because this was an amazing producing yellow Thai pepper. Okay, now we're into some pucker butt seeds. Um, and we're not even discussing with you our seeds. We have tens of thousands of our seeds. We're not even going there. These are just bought seeds. Um, long yellow tie. To me, it's more of an orange tie, but they can call it what it wants. Great pepper. Mm -hmm. Makes Produ wonderful seasoning. Produced well. So I think this is a, a grow for this year. Yep. Now, this one was amazing. A yep. little bit annoying to pick. Very annoying. This is an orange tie SSE. Um, it's an anum, so it's a, a anum pepper. You uh, had peppers that were smaller than a pencil, smaller than a mechanical pencil, very tiny, um, yeah. Two and a some half to them, three and a half inches yeah, long. Some of them even like Yeah, there's a few that's only two inches long. So it's almost like trying to pick birds. I peppers, they're more annoying than they're usually worth, but they, it tasted good and it made great seasoning, so. Golly gee, it was a good pepper. Mm -hmm. Cooking with them, eggs, breakfast, whatever. Um, our customers loved them, so that's going to be grown probably every year, even yep. though it's a little annoying to pick. Um, I have made up my mind on this one. We didn't I use liked, this a lot. I did like that one. And it made a good seasoning dry. And I am sure I'm going to butcher this pronunciation. <laughs> it is Hangyo Yellow Space. Um, I continually wanted to call that one Yellow Spice, but it's not. It's Space. So we're going to grow this? I did like that one. That's not an answer. Ah, uh, yes. We'll <laughs> uh, Aleppo. I did not care for that. Yeah, I think we're going to skip that this year. I could grow them and sell them to customers, but it was at best an average pepper. Yep. Not impressive. Ahi Santa Cruz was a prolific producer. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. I think we'll grow that this yep. year. Okay. Seven pot caramel. Have to it as with most pot. seven pots it is amazing i really prefer the caramels and the chocolates when it comes to peppers i love that flavor so we're going to grow that again um red butch tea i was so impressed uh great producer of absolutely stunning pods um so we're going to grow the red butch tea now i will tell you that we had several orange ones come up in these red ones we did, yes. Um, probably a third of our plants produced orange pods. Just exactly identical to the red butch tea. Uh, the bee, Jalokia, this is the orange. I don't remember if we liked it or not. Uh, we did not eat them because we had them at the very last of the season because we grew them in the DIY tunnel. But it was a beautiful pepper, a uh, very large size, so I say keep them. Or grow them. Grow that. I loved that one. I did too. This is a Boot Nied Cross. It's a CP293. Um, I've only got two <laughs> seeds. Uh, I do have some we saved, but obviously they wasn't isolated. So I don't think we're going to buy seeds this year. I think we're going to try these two and see how it works. Yep. Uh, caramel Scotch Bonnet. You know, I didn't get to eat a caramel we Scotch did Bonnet. Not, no. So I guess I don't we're even, growing it. Yeah, I don't even remember, actually. They were out there. I okay. just don't know if we... Uh, Bleeding Naga. This was a great pepper. Very good, yep. Produced well, beautiful, presents well at market, um, eats well. Uh, so we're going to grow the Bleeding Naga again. Uh, the Yellow Ghost. Um, I was very happy with the Yellow Ghost. Mm -hmm. Beautiful pepper. Yep. Uh, it was a late producer for us, but we did get them in the ground later than some of the others, so... We're growing that again. We're trying to expand our ghost collection this year. Uh, yellow brain strain. I don't remember. No. So we got three seeds. Let's hope two of them make it. That could have been some that we propagated and never got to make it or killed. or. The red Dominican habanero. We discussed this earlier today. We don't know if we even grew one this year. So we're going to be growing a red Dominican habanero this year so we can save seeds from it. Pumpkin habanero. 
Those were pretty good. They were decent producers. That's yeah. what I was trying to remember. Production. It wasn't as great as some habaneros, but it did produce. Yeah. Plant grew a little bit smaller than the other ones, mm -hmm. too. Uh, Brown Congo Habs. We discussed earlier. I don't know that we even picked one. Nope. So maybe we maybe they didn't make it. Maybe the plant died. Um, so we're going to grow those this year. Okay. Now we're getting into some seeds that are mostly, Fatali. all but just a few, are Fatali seeds. Mm -hmm. um, so Fatali has an Ancho Poblano, and this is a different one in that it ripens to a red, uh, a, a brown, brown color. Yeah. A brown color instead of a red color. So we liked these last year, so we're going to grow these and save seeds from them. Um, it was a very good poblano. So that's a keeper. And we love the uh, Born to Hula Ghost of Ancho because it's got, it's got that classic Ancho poblano flavor to it, and it's really, really good. So This one I would not grow, but we'll have customers want them for potted plants, and yeah. they do make an amazing potted pepper plant. This is the New Mex Easter. To me, they're more ornamental than really useful. It tastes good. Yeah. It's just a small pepper on a small plant, and it's a beautiful color. Yep. Uh, really absolutely just gorgeous, stunning to look at. But I would much rather have a peri-peri oh, yeah. than this. So we're going to grow them because customers will want to buy the plants. And so. we're going to want seeds off of them. So. And, yeah, and we'll grow two so we can get... This will definitely be an only two, so we can get seeds. Chinese five color. Uh, to be honest, if I'm going to grow the New Mex Easter this year, I won't grow the five color this year. Well, we didn't actually get to grow the Chinese five color last year. Well, we did. We grew it. We killed them all. Yeah, I know. So. But I'm thinking grow that this year and this next year. What do you think? That's fine. Um, the CGN 19198s. I'm going to say next year. Little bitty peppers. Oh, yep. <clears throat> I don't like little tiny peppers. I have to pick them. It's not fun. I'm going to say next year on the Escondido. What do you say? Yeah, I, I was not really impressed with that one. This pepper tasted great. It got ugly brown spots on almost every one of them. And nobody wants to buy it. They're great flavor. But it's a El Oro de Ecuador. So, we're not growing it this year. Now, towards the end of the year. Yep. When the weather started cooling off, they did better. When it was the end of October, 1st of November, we still hadn't had a frost or freeze. Yep. And they done great. Yep. Um, I don't think we had any of these make it. Well, we sold them all as plants. Kabaka Roxa. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I said we'd grow that this year. Yep. It's another one of those fairly small peppers. We're going to give that one a shot. Sugar Rush Long Peach. You want to grow that one. Sugar Rush Long Peach? Yep. All right, so we're going to grow the Sugar Rush Long Peach. Sugar Rush Stripey, definitely. definitely. Uh, I've got to get seeds for this one because the customers will want them as plants. <laughs> and that is definitely not enough. Uh, this was a cool pepper, the uh, Ahi Fantasy. Oh, I loved that one. Ahi Fantasy was an amazing pepper. Tasted um, great. It reminds you of the um, what, the red one, not the Mad Bishop's, Crown. Bishop's Crown, but it's yellow. Um, really good flavor too. Medium heat range. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little above what I'd call mild, but it's not quite hot hot. Um, I'm gonna say we need plant seeds. Yeah. Because that's enough for us, but that is not enough to sell plants, and that's that's a variety we need plants plants for. Um, Ahi Amarillos. We had those a minute ago. In the, from, from, yep. Yeah, Pepper Joe's maybe. Yep. We only had, only had like one. Mm -hmm. So this makes three. So I'm going to leave this out. We need seeds. Ahi Pura. That was a great pepper. Um, but I'm going to say let's not grow it this year. Yeah. And let's grow the Ahi Nortinos. They were a little bit bigger and had a great flavor too. Those were great peppers. I loved them. They produced well. Um, it would remind you of color, a shape, a texture, and so forth. It would remind you of a red ahi lemon drop. Yeah. So, it was a great pepper, like I said. 
Uh, Ahi Jobito. Those were really good. Very mild heat. Very mild. I don't know if y'all can even see these pictures, but I might be able to zoom in. Um, so that's a yes? Yep. Ahi Peruvian. Uh, I have no care one way or the other on that one. Let's not grow that this year. We can't grow them all. I don't even know they'll made it. I don't think so. So I'd say we grow that this year. Yep. And I cannot pronounce this. Ahi Ahuchapon? Ahuchapon? Yeah. It's a back of them. It's a, it's a pretty hot. It's a, a upper side of medium heat range. So. Yeah. I will say let's grow, grow that one this year. Ahi Habaneros, I'm going to grow good. just because yeah. it tasted great. And oh my goodness, once they started to ripen, what a prolific producing plant. Yeah. Like most ahis, but oh my goodness. And this is a, a good top end of the medium heat range scale too. I mean, we're not habanero level, but we're hot. And, uh, it was a good pepper. We, we cooked with them and sold a bunch of them. Um, Brazilian pumpkin. I'm not going to grow it this year. It was a good pepper. I was not terribly impressed with production. Um, I'll give it a try again, maybe next year in a different spot in the garden. But I say um, we skip that. Brazilian starfish, it's almost like the same pepper, except for it's fatter. A little bit different shape. Um, Ahi Duke. I don't remember that one. I say we grow the Ahi Duke. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. Ahi Val de Conca. I do not remember that one. It was a good pepper. But I think we'll skip it this year. Like I said, can't grow them all. Um, ahi crystals. I think we'll grow the ahi crystal this year. Okay. I don't remember that one. Uh, blended lemon we're going to grow this year. Yep. Um, it is like your um, ahi lemon pepper, but it's big. Much bigger. Really big. Like, yeah, big. And I'm going to grow, I said we grow the ahi guyanas. Yep, those were really those good. Those was a big, long, orange pepper. So, we'll grow that. All right. So, that finishes up our ahis, except for the ones we discussed the other day already. Sugar Rush Peach, Sugar Rush Red, um, Sugar Rush Cream. Those will be grown also. And then ahi lemon drops, ahi pineapple, and ahi gold. Um, I know we've got gold seeds. We may not have pineapple seeds. We need to look at that. Okay. Um, goldie prawn. I'd say we grow it. I like it. We need one. to save seeds from it. I've got three seeds. Well, technically, I got four. One's broken. <laughs> so we'll grow goldie prawn. Um, we're going to grow yaki brown. That was a really nice pod. Mm -hmm. That's a super hot, nice big size. We apparently didn't have any of those made it. Nope. Um, so I say we grow it. This is a super hot. It's a Phantomus multicolor. I've never eaten one, but apparently we killed them all. We did have a mishap um, in our germination room, and we annihilated a lot. some peppers. Um, Marugla. What can we say? Hot, hot, and hot. So we're going to grow that save some seeds. Um, we're trying to focus on seeds this year. Uh, the Nied White Bullet, none of ours made it, did they? Nope. So, I've got four seeds. That gives me one more chance um, to grow the Nied White Bullet. Okay, Carolina Reaper and Seven Pot Dogla. This made an absolutely stunning pepper. Mm -hmm. I've got one seed <laughs> left. We saved seeds from ours, and we're going to grow some of them out and see what we get. Um... And I think that we'll just take a chance on this one seed making it. Uh, Tara Humera. I wasn't impressed. So Tara Humera gets a next year. DR Ball. Pretty good. We Everybody makes a fuss about them. And I'm sure they're probably good in different things, but there's so many different peppers out there that most people don't try. I wasn't thrilled. 
unless you want. I say we probably need it for at least seeds okay. and then sell seeds. plants next year. Ah, uh, seeds. Uh, boy, I remember it, but I don't remember it. Cheryl Rocks. I'm fairly confident those were those little bitty tiny, annoying. I got peppers. enough of the little bitty tiny ones. Yeah. Uh, our Bahamian goat was not a Bahamian goat. There was like a couple that were a Bahamian goat. So if we're going to grow Bahamian goats, we'll grow something. Get seeds. Yeah. Hot cherry. None of them made it. No. We had plants that mm -hmm. went in the ground, but none of them made it to maturity. So we'll grow hot cherry again. Korean gochu. Great pepper. Our customers didn't seem to make a fuss over it. Uh, Thai super chili. This was amazing. Um, we're, I bet we didn't order them the other day. We're supposed to order more seeds. So I'm going to put that in the pile of get seeds. Jamaican mushroom. One seed. One seed. Now, I think we did save some seeds from those, but they were not isolated. Yep. But. So, we'll make the call on that later. Uh, the goat horn was a good pepper. Nice, hot, <clears throat> nice long, hot pepper. Mm -hmm. So, I think we'll grow that again so we can save seeds from it. Uh, Taliano, let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to vote don't grow it. But if it was not an amazing producing pepper that produced little bitty pods that's about half the size of your pinky. And, and they go straight up to the air. Yeah, it was an amazing producer. But I can only grow so <laughs> much of that stuff. So I'd rather have peri peris. Say next year. Absolutely not impressed. Peach cluster habanero. Yeah, yeah, those were annoying. Not impressed at all. Uh Chiro Recife. Those were little bitty tiny. Grow that one? I don't care. To get seeds from? Are you going to pick them? Mm, that's your job. Uh, Cabaneros. Next year. That's a good pepper. Next year. Um, same thing for Pili Pili. It's a yeah. great pepper, but let's do it next year. I can't grow them all in one year. Um, We didn't have any of those make it. No, nope. West Indian yellow habanero. So we're going to grow that. I got two seeds. Hopefully. Uh, none of these made it nope. either. Dal Kersani. Uh, that's hot. That, that's super hot level. So red pepper. Um, so we'll grow that. The causes was a good pepper. I don't remember. Um, that was the one that reminded you of a, to look at it, a Hungarian hot wax. But it wasn't, obviously. But I'm going to vote it next year. None of these made it either. Kumeri Alongado. So we'll grow that since none of them made it. C zero two five nine eight. I don't remember it. Let's let's pause till next year. I can't like we said we can't grow everything. Um, these didn't make it. No. Shololo. It's an orange pepper. It's a Chinese variety. And so I'd say we'll grow that one. Let's see how how long more time we're using right now. Right on the video. Um, Montufar. They didn't make it. Oh. That's that's a black seeded variety. So we'll grow that. And I'm going to grow these just because they're white. This is another small one. This is the Chupatino white. And it's hot. Negro de Val. That was good. Um, it, but we're not it, growing them both, so right. there's your other one. Which one are you growing? Valero and Negro de Val. This was two that was very similar, but definitely not the same. Yeah. I can't remember which one was hotter. One was actually hot. No, one had twice as many seeds as the other one. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're both the same here. Yeah. Uh, they I were, think they the were Valero like, is the one you wanted okay. to grow. So we'll grow Valeros this year, maybe grow the other one next year. One of them had like three times the amount of seeds as the other one in it. This is sadness. Now, thankfully we have some seeds, but they're not isolated from the Mozambique Peri Peri. This is my Mozambique Peri Peri's from Chili Chump. I have two. This is a um, Brutessence, uh, and they were amazing. Yep. So we're growing two this year and try to isolate. Um, the Fogons was an amazing Produce, producing producer. pepper. I only got two seeds, so I definitely want to grow and save seeds. Criolla Sella. I didn't eat any. I mean, I we harvested a bunch. Either. Harvested a bunch of them, mm -hmm. but let's. I don't know. It is orange color. Yep. I think we'll do it. Uh, the Malawi bird's eye. So this this is another uh, peri peri type pepper. Um, no, the bird's eye is not a peri peri. It's an animal. Grow them? Yeah. Santa Domingo Pueblo. I don't care if you grow those. Yeah, me not. neither. They were okay. I was not impressed at all. Bangalore Whippet's Tail. I liked that one. I liked it. I wasn't impressed with production at all. But need to grow it. it if you ever have a Chili Chumps recipe book, you will want to grow the Bangalore Whippet's Tail because it's in a lot of his recipes. Purple Haze. This is a cayenne type. Um, and it was a came on late, yeah. but it was a good pepper. Yeah. So we'll grow it. Um, ah, oh, one more. Uh, Jamez Pueblo. I didn't care for it. Okay. She shot that one in the Ah, right. we've already we we bought brown jalapeno seeds from from uh, Fatali because we wanted to make sure his was the same as ours because their pictures look different but they're the same. Yeah. So. Can't tell them apart. Uh, sweet King Jalapeno. It was a big pepper. I think we'll grow that again just because of the size of the pepper. The Mariachi was a good pepper, but I'd say next year. Um, I think we'll grow the New Mex Panada instead of that. Yeah. So we'll grow I, wasn't, the I didn't care for it either. New Mex Panada. I did not care for the white either. I liked the white, and we're going to grow the white jalapeno. I'll rule her on that one. Now this one was popular with a lot of customers, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a good pepper. And this is the lemon giant jalapeno, and it literally gets even bigger than what they show there. Yeah, they're showing it a little smaller than, than your cross your fingers. We had some that was a good inch and a half bigger than that. And then the farmers market jalapeno, the farmers market potato jalapeno. We'll grow that again, primarily because I want to get a good seed bank on them. <laughs> okay, I think we have these in our other seeds over here. So here is chocolate jigsaw. That's a must. Mm -hmm. That was popular. We loved it, but I only got two seeds. That would not be enough, but I think I have more seeds over here from refining fire chilies um, and chocolate skunk. Um, and obviously, we want to be your seed source for all of your pepper seeds. But we also know that we can't supply everybody and we can't have every seed. Refining Fire Chilies and Fatali has been excellent to us on their seeds and the quality of their seeds and their delivery and everything. So I have no complaints with either one of those two. Um, so if you can't get it off us, get it off them. So we're going to stop that video right here. But as soon as we're done, we're going to start the next video so we can get it set up for you for part three because I think we're getting close to 40 minutes on this video and we're going to probably have 40 more minutes on the next video so I don't want to have an hour and a half uh, video for you so we're going to stop that right there and I hope y'all have a blessed day.